guys welcome back to the channel in this video we're going to talk about IDenomics ticker symbol IDEX just going to give you a quick update on the price we're going to break down the charts talk about where I think they may go from here before we do just to reiterate I'm not a financial advisor make sure you do your own research before investing also if you find value in today's video smash the thumbs up button subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell that way YouTube can let you know every time we release new content so let's dive on into it guys so uh, IDEX up 7% for the day uh, got as high as 326 and then as you see for the week uh, we were as low as 274 so that's a pretty big uh, increase for the past week uh, starting to rip and uh, hopefully we can keep that up so uh, after we break down the charts I want to also show you something pretty interesting that I saw on reddit today that I'm going to start keeping an eye on and I'll keep you informed uh, but let's go ahead right now and look at the charts and see what they're telling us all right, guys, we're looking at the 180-day, four-hour time frame. Uh, currently, our our resistance is 322, our support of 264. Uh, we are above the SMA line, which is a good sign. So we got to stay above or at least hold at 272 uh, if we do fall down to make sure that we uh, stay at trend on that uptrend. Okay, so currently, uh, one thing to kind of be aware of here, if you're looking to get into this stock, you should be able to get it cheaper at some point over the next couple of days uh, just because we are overvalued on the RSI for this particular time frame. I think that we should probably bounce down to about $3 or so um, on the dip, okay? And then hopefully bounce off of that and then come back and retest that support. Uh, but right now, you know, right now we are overvalued. So this would be the time that you actually would, you know, take profits, not, you know, try to enter it or anything like that so uh, and on the uh, MACD we've been in a bearish I'm, I'm sorry bullish pattern um, for the past uh, week so eventually we're gonna cool off at least temporarily but hopefully we can uh, have a, a very short little dip and then push back further up to the upside so if we can get above and hold at about 322 that's a great sign of strength moving forward for us uh, so what I want to do now is I want to show you an article or discussion board on Reddit that I found about 10 minutes ago. All right, guys, so this was started about seven hours ago, and they have about seven comments on it, so it's not like it's a whole lot of traction or, or whatnot, but this uh, has about a 1,000 members in this particular group. Uh, but the topic said idex is the next squeeze just getting started get on let's go so i'll kind of just read through some of the comments that says we can only hope so uh, the company is undervalued and it says i hope but all ev stocks are up so the bump is not new unique to idex hopefully it will sustain itself going forward though and it says short percentage relative to float is pretty low no guarantee for a big squeeze in my opinion Someone just says, hey, go IDEX. And the other person says, guaranteed squeeze. If you doubt it, please argue with your phone. No time for doubting Thomas. Uh, and it says, it's true, and then let's do it. So uh, this is not the first time that I've seen this come up on Reddit or not. The first time I've heard someone actually talking about this, uh, that they would be targeting IDEX next. Okay. So I don't know how, you know, how much truth they'll have to it doing that that would be you know obviously great for anyone who holds idex for sure um, but it's something to keep an eye on for sure so i'm going to kind of keep uh, browsing on reddit you know every couple of days every week or so and if i start seeing that it's starting to gain traction um, i'll definitely keep you guys up later on it but uh, i just wanted to bring that to your attention uh, as i saw it you know like i said about 10 minutes ago All right, guys, that's all I have for you in this video. Make sure that you smash the thumbs up button if you found value in today's video. And if you enjoy our content, of course, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. That way YouTube can let you know every time we release new content. Other than that, guys, we'll catch you in the next video.